Welcome everyone to another lesson on Khadija Academy. Before we start this lesson, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go and start our lesson. Hi and welcome everyone to our course for distributed generators. In this course, we will discuss the distributed generators or distributed generation in the electrical pole system, and it is usually abbreviated as DG. So usually we will find that DG is representing our distributed generators in our electrical systems. We would like to understand in this course what is exactly DG and its classification technologies and how can we control our DG when we are going to connect it to our electrical power system we would like to control how much active power how much reactive power or even the voltage at the point of connection all of that we would like to discuss in this course so let's have an introduction about distributed generators so a uh, DG is simply an electrical power source connected directly to the distributed network or hence the name distributed generators came from. That's why it's called DG because it is connected only to the distributed network. If it is connected to a transmission network, then in this case, it is not a distributed generator. So, for example, as you already know that any electrical power system consisting of three main stages, right? Three main stages, or we can say four main stages. We have generation, okay? We have transmission of electrical power. We have distribution. And we have the utilization of this generated power. Okay, so number one, we have generation, generating of electrical uh, power energy or electrical energy from several resources. For example, it can be renewable or non-renewable resources. It can be from fossil fuels, for example, fossil fuels for non-renewable it can come from renewable resources like wind, solar, any type of these renewable resources. Okay, then we are going from generation. For example, here, as you can see in this figure, we have the centralized generation, large power plants in gigawatts that provides electrical power to our uh, power system. This generated power is transmitted using the transmission grid or the transmission network now what we do exactly from generation to transmission is that we step up in this step we step up the voltage for example if we are generating let's say at 10 kilovolt we will step this one to the transmission level 220 kilovolt 500 kilovolt any of these values transmission level depending on the country code by increasing the uh, voltage from this level to a higher level we will be able to reduce the current flowing inside our transmission system which means the power losses will start going down that's why we increase the voltage in the transmission system now then the transmission system will pass through th several stages at which we are going to step down this voltage from 220 to let's say 66 kilovolt then from 66 we will go down to 33 11 kilovolt 3.3 for example and then until the 480 volt uh, level okay or 180 volt or 220 volt there are many levels which can change from one country to another anyway we step down the voltage until we reach the voltage at the customer side okay when we are stepping the voltage at a certain level we will reach 
the distribution network at which we will start distributing the electrical power to our consumers then our consumers will start utilizing this electrical power now when we when do we have our distributed generation in the distribution network when we are taking a wind generator or a BV system photovoltaic system that provides electrical power to the distribution network or connected to the uh, distribution grid in this case we will have the distributed generator so it is exactly connected to the distributed network or at the site of the customer usually the customer that is the one who provided this kind of power now this type of distributed generators is not planned we don't plan it when we design our electrical power system or our electrical grid we don't plan in having distributed generators it can be me or you or anyone who have a bv system that gives electrical power or a grid connected system that gives electrical power to our grid this one can be connected to the distribution network can be to a low uh, voltage or a medium voltage level of the distribution system depending on its power rating usually the distributed generators are in the range between 50 to 300 megawatt not more than this okay this and this uh, level we say it is a distributed generator thank you for watching this lesson I would like to invite you to our academy Khadija Academy premium uh, membership which will help you learn more about electrical engineering in this academy or in the academy membership you will find that we'll have more than 100 uh, courses in mass electrical engineering basics uh, power engineering uh, career uh, preparations for example we have electrical design we have courses on electric circuits power electronics etab matlab solar energy wave energy wind energy and much more you will find also in this uh, academy you will find the different uh, feedbacks from some of our uh, students that joined our uh, courses you can for example um, uh, join our membership for just uh, a small fee per month or you can just have a lifetime access in which you will get all of current uh, courses and classes and you can have them forever and not only this but any any new course that will be created you will be able to uh, watch it for completely free so what are the classes that i will learn in this membership you will find different classes in electric circuits you will find in uh, transformers magnetic circuits machines uh, power electronics uh, load estimation lighting design lightning also design earthing system cables uh, generators um, like current systems or low current systems uh, of grid design on grid design very very lot <laughs> lots of uh, classes and courses in different uh, topics okay and you will find that inside when you join this membership you'll find this uh, blueprint that will guide you in which classes you will start with when you join this membership so thank you and see you in our um, membership on khadija academy